I'd like you to join me in welcoming the Parliamentary Secretary for Education, Inga Powell. Thank you very much, Lauren, and uh, I'm delighted to join you this morning, and uh, particularly delighted that um, that Lauren's had the opportunity of introducing me, because I understand, as, as I walked into the conference, that some years ago, in my uh, earlier um, uh, iteration as a member of the Legislative Assembly of Bentley, I, I uh, presented Lauren with a, a, a school prize, a school award, <laughs> when she was at primary school. So it's great to see that she's done well. <laughs> um, and, uh, and blooming, obviously, in the role. Uh, could I acknowledge uh, Val Johnson, the President of Early Childhood Intervention Australia Victorian Chapter, who's trying to tempt the, um, the Sun, as well as Marlene uh, Fox, President of the Early Childhood Australia Victoria Branch, uh, Tim Moore, uh, the Secretary, I understand, uh, on the Executive for some 27 years, did you say? Um, uh, Secretary of ECIA uh, VC, Senior Research Fellow at the Centre for Community Child Health, and, uh, and he's particularly excited because he's the only male in the room. Uh, well, I think, well, no, there are two, there are three. I'm, uh, you see, you, got, you get it wrong. And he was particularly uh, excited because he was confident that come break time, there wasn't going to be a very long queue in the men's loo. But, uh, and obviously L Lauren and ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, hopefully the day will fine up and that you'll uh, not only find this day exhilarating uh, and an opportunity, a valuable opportunity to network and to learn. And I used to be particularly excited about the PD opportunities as, as, a, as a teacher, um, that you'll also um, form some friendships and rekindle old ones and uh, maybe even uh, kick on afterwards with a, uh, with a nice glass of Sav Blanc or a cappuccino. Uh, it is obviously my great pleasure to represent the, uh, the Honourable Wendy Lovell MP, Minister for Children and Early Childhood Development uh, at this Professional Development Day and I've got the privilege of working with the three Ministers for Education uh, across the system, uh, so from, um, from early years right through uh, uh, adult. Uh, and uh, I want to thank all of you here for the work that you do in your daily lives in support of Victorian children and families. I commend you for the uh, help you provide parents as they na navigate the challenges of raising a child with a disability or developmental delay. And I recall being involved in, in, in a family and community development inquiry back in 1994 an all-party inquiry, and I had the privilege of serving on that with the Honourable uh, Caroline Hogg, who had been a, a minister. And at that time, one of the big challenges of uh, all of the service provisions across the sector was uh, fragmentation and, and the need to provide a seamless, a seamless access to service. It seems to me those themes might be expressed in different ways, but they still remain challenges today. Uh, and particularly, obviously, in the, in the disability and developmental delay uh, area. Uh, could I congratulate you for your ability to help uh, uh, these young Victorians to discover new strengths and abilities and we know uh, indeed this is where our challenge is and this is the direction that education is taking across all age groups. As a result of your vital work we're able to ensure that all Victorian children have the best chance to engage in learning and, and to... Oh, fourth one. And <laughs> Um, that was an in-house joke, uh, and to grow up uh, being healthy and strong. Uh, uh, your conference is occurring um, at an exciting time in early childhood intervention. I was speaking with, with Tim at, and looking at some of the challenges that lie ahead, especially with the NDIS uh, trial and the opportunity for, um, for the practitioners and the experts in the field to actually shape uh, what comes out of that trial, of course, and that will no doubt transform the work that you do very substantially. Uh, I understand a joint position statement on the inclusion of children with a disability in mainstream services was launched at the uh, National ECIA conference in Perth. I hope that it was a warmer, a warmer affair and that the paper uh, uh, will have a Victorian launch here this morning. Uh, the level of collaboration in your uh, sector has always been strong. Uh, I believe now uh, is unprecedented and hopefully just as inspiring. I want to congratulate Early Childhood Intervention Australia and Early Childhood Australia for the commitment to working together to ensure every child, regardless of the child's circumstances, has the best chance to reach his or her full potential. Uh, and um, this is something the Victorian Government is committed to achieving through the reform of uh, ECIS. I want to briefly talk to you about the specific issues uh, regarding the ECIS reform project. 
As many of you are aware, the project was established to consider improvements uh, needed to service the, um, uh, uh, the growing demand. Uh, the reform project, project was also designed to look at ways to reduce system fragmentation and to strengthen service quality. As I said, that seamless access seems to still be the, uh, the elusive um, goal. Uh, it also addresses governance and accountability issues. However, with the proposed piloting of NDIS in 2013, it is premature um, to implement that significant reform to ECIS before the outcomes of that per, uh, pilot are established. And this is, I guess, uh, can be both exciting but also can be en enormously frustrating to people who have devoted their professional time, their effort into, of course, getting to where you are now. This doesn't mean, obviously, that uh, the whole range of system improvements cannot be progressed uh, parallel to the NDIS uh, pilot. Uh, for example, a key area of, of reform for ECIS will be the strengthening of interface with other support providers, uh, and that's critical, obviously, to both areas. These include universal uh, services and Commonwealth-funded programs, such as helping children with autism and Better Start. Importantly, ECIS will also be involved with monitoring and influencing the outcomes of the NDIS uh, pilot. Once the pilot is completed, the full-scale implementation of the um, uh, ECIS reform project can then go ahead. Uh, I know that you'll probably, uh, you may be frustrated by that, but you'll acknowledge the practicalities of the approach. Notwithstanding this position, I want to assure you that in a difficult budget ti um, time and environment, the government is committed to ensuring the maintenance of a strong universal care system for children living with a disability or with developmental delay. For example, we have committed to continuing the supported playgroup and parent group initiative. We are also continuing to build and strengthen the early childhood intervention workforce through a range of attractive scholarships, incentives and professional training opportunities. Uh, round one of the 2012-2013 Early Childhood Intervention New Graduate and Rural Incentives, which provide up to, uh, I think, $6,000 to successful applicants, is now open. Likewise, the Early Childhood Intervention Postgraduate Scholarship is also open. Now, as a country MP, I'm sure that the Minister would uh, like me to encourage uh, some of you to consider applying or to speak to people who may be suitable. Uh, and, uh, of course, encourage uh, current early childhood intervention professionals, including preschool field officers and kindergarten inclusion support staff, to consider uh, making that application. Another example of our commitment to your sector has been our work in improving the interface between ECIS and Universal Services. By strengthening the capacity of Universal Services, we ensure that children with a disability or with developmental delay can participate and be supported by the same range of services available to all children and all families. As you know, last year's state budget committed additional funding to ECIS. And just to highlight some, $10 million of new money was committed over four years to increase kindergarten inclusion support packages. And $8.2 million was committed to um, over four years to continue funding for 150 ECIS places and 150 flexible support packages. And of course, the funding complements our commitment to the National Disability Insurance Scheme pilot, which will benefit approximately 5,000 people in the Barwon South uh, West region. Victoria has agreed to provide 290 million over a three year period from July 2013. Uh, Victoria will continue to play a leading role in the foundation reforms required to implement NDIS, such as working to deliver a national assessment tool and a quality and safeguard framework. As mentioned, the impact of the establishment of NDIS on the existing early childhood intervention service sector will be explored through the trial to ensure that services to families and children with a disability are not compromised. In, conclu in conclusion, <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> uh, and on behalf of the Minister for Childhood and Early um, Children and Early Childhood, I would like to thank Ekia Victoria for your commitment to the ongoing professional development of the ECIS workforce. I also want to thank you for the work that you do in developing a resource to assist ECIS practitioners to engage with Victorian early years learning and development framework. Finally, I want to congratulate ECIA Victoria for facilitating today's event and for showcasing the latest thinking in Victorian and international practice. 
and I look forward to reading some of that on your website. Um, and I understand that Tim's um, uh, presentation is already on the website. I hope that you have an exciting and a stimulating day and um, that indeed you take away a lot from it, but ultimately that the benef beneficiaries will be the people, uh, the children, the families whose, um, whose lives you have worked to improve and of course hopefully who will be able to look to a bit better and, and brighter future in order to reach their potential as much as we can support it and of course to make sure that they enjoy all of the benefits that uh, ch children and uh, people of all abilities uh, do in Victoria and in Australia. So with those few words, congratulations on the work that you've done, thank you for the work that you do and hopefully today will be an exciting day for the future as well. Thank you.